guys, check this out. I will have to absorb this uh, image for a while because it's new for me as well as for you. Hey everybody, I am Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 57. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon Patreons team. Thank you very much, guys, for your generous help. If you would like to enjoy the benefits of the membership too, there is the link down below. And what we are going to do today, we will work on the top bracket for the suspension, which we are going to place over here on the top of the airbag. And we will use the material from original Tatra here, originally from a rear suspension of the rear axles. And we will anchor it in front through the bumper, which we are going to place over here. And on this side, on the, some kind of structure that will go on both sides this way and that way. And this structure also holds the Tesla motor. We are going to work with the material from the original Tatra rails which I brought here yesterday. Before we start, I would like to mention a few words about these brackets. I'm trying to salvage everything uh, what, uh, what I can from the original Tatra, so I make these brackets from these rails, but uh, they have some imperfections. They are not uh, absolutely straight, so make some kind of squareness in these brackets. It was pretty difficult, so this will be the case only for my build, the customer will receive these brackets made from the brand new steel and the top one will be made from one piece, not from two, so we will avoid the welding. And also material, especially of the top one, will be much thicker, so I don't have to use the brace which I'm going to use for my truck by putting it inside of that. We have here these two original Tatra rails we are going to work with. They are upside down now. This part was against the front axle. Here you can see the mounting points for the original Tatra motor. And uh, the cap was originally from here to here approximately. We are going to cut this rail over here and use this part for the bumper and we'll use this part for the supporting frame. And we are going to reuse this mounting point because it was original here and we will again use it. Let's go. is heavy. I finally carved out the original uh, shape of the rail from all of this mess. <laughs> so I can actually see what I'm going to cut. Let's go.
Oh my god! <laughs> wow! It was awesome. I think it never happened before. Perhaps the American uniform is a little bit more fire resilient than the British one. <laughs> That was pretty intense day guys. I destroyed the display on the camera with the sparks from the grinder. I caught on fire twice. <laughs> I grinded out part of my finger. And, uh, but what matters, I clean completely the part of the bumper we are going to use. So overall, very good day. See you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's another day and it's also the last day when I'm going to be actually working in this shop before I go to the UK to make some money for this project. Um, I am about uh, four episodes ahead, so don't worry, when this episode is published, I should be relatively close to my return to continue with this project. Uh, by saying that, I would like to thank everybody who supports my channel. My goal is to be fully sustainable so I can work solely on this truck and I can be able to produce two, maybe three videos for a week for you guys. And now let's go to work. When you look over here, I have this bumper already done. I'm just waiting uh, for the exact measurement, how wide it will be, and then I will cut it here somewhere. And uh, now I need to cut this rail, again at the same spot, and we will use this part of the rail, and then we'll put this mounting point into this place where it originally was, and we will place it here. Let's go work. Check this out guys, I removed some extra mess from the rails, the mess is everywhere, look at that. I'm going to cut off these little pieces of metal from the rails, but I'm going to keep these motor mounts where the Tatra motor sit before, because we can use them for Tesla motor. Then we are going to put these rails on the truck, including the bumper. Let's go, let's do it. I had it perfectly balanced and the, the rail hit the Tatra and it's not, it's out of balance now. 
and it even sits on that. So we have it leveled again. So let's go back to the rail. Check this out guys, the rail is completely clear of every piece of metal I don't need. From both sides, it's just so damn time consuming. I'm not sure if it would be faster to make it or just recycle it like this. And let's go the second one. Guys, take a look. I have another rail completely clear of any metal pieces after two and a half hours of cutting and grinding. Like brand new. <laughs> Can't wait to put it here. And this one too, let's go. Guys, check this out. I will have to absorb this uh, image for a while because it's new for me as well as for you. Look at that.
I wanna give you some explanation, guys. We are going to cut the rails somewhere, probably behind the T-case. It depends how it will at be attached to the midsection with the battery. And we are going to probably attach it to this plate over here, plus make some cross member for the rigidity here. M mounting points for the Tatra motor, we might use for the Tesla motor. Over here, into this gap, we are going to put this shock. It will be tight fit, but it will fit. Bumper, it's cut straight. I personally like shape like that, like a hammer has at the back. But uh, we might not be able to do that because it will, the tire would be, would be rubbing against that. <clears throat> Mid-section will be probably lower than the wheel, wheel fenders because the wheels will be up to this point maybe, so the fenders will be like that. So the front will be looking like a little bit like the sports car. To me, this part is a little bit bulky. Leave me comments below what do you think about that. I think um, maybe trim it and make it instead 25 centimeters, just do it 15 centimeters. But if you imagine the huge wheel, which will go probably up to this point, it's not bulky at all. Let me know what you think. And this will be it for today, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't want me to pause the video production because I need to work abroad to fund it, please consider to become a patron. Even $1 a month makes a lot of difference for me and no difference for you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.